Awesome, Michael. So excited to uh, interview you again. It's uh, interviewed a couple of times back in the four house days. Yeah, so, it's been a while. Yeah, but now you're uh, a magician now. I guess first off, we'll get into your uh, your show in a little bit, but let's talk about your transition from uh, acting to to becoming this magician at the that you got your show. Like, is this something like a passion you've always had and like kind of dug back into it or? Yeah, you know, a lot of people didn't know I was a, a magician because, of course, I was on the show acting. But I've been doing magic for a long time, on and off, uh, since I was eight years old. Okay. So I've been, yeah, I've uh, I started this as as a as a young kid, and then it got really serious when I turned sixteen because I got into a place called the Magic Castle. Um, I'm not sure. Are, are you are you here in L.A.? Oh. Or... I, I, I used to be. I live in Orlando, but yeah, that, that's a big deal to have to be yeah. there. You know? Yeah, yeah. So I got into the junior program and then I started performing seriously and I started uh, making money with it. And then it, I just felt really inspired and I started doing more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what was like the first magic trick you learned, you know, that like started your passion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the very first magic trick I ever learned, I will never forget it. So. When I was eight, for Christmas, my aunt and uncle, they bought me this uh, crappy little magic kit that you get for kids. And it had all of like the plastic, you know, chopping your finger and the ball in the vase. But there was one magic trick in there. I will never forget it. It was this rectangular box. And on the inside, it had a washer and a string. And it was threaded through this uh, very tiny hole. It was a, a little plastic plate with a hole and if you tugged on it, it it wouldn't go through but if you put this little sheet on it and then you pulled it it, it impossibly seemingly went through and i remember i was so floored when i learned what the secret was and i showed every single member of my family and i was like guys look at this i'm a wizard and i would go in and they were like wow that's so cool you know like placating me uh but i, I just i i got the bug from that moment on and it was um yeah, it was just for, from then on, I started doing these uh, magic summer camps uh, in Orlando. And because uh, I, I also you know, grew up in Orlando, I, th I think we, yeah, we swapped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I started doing these magic summer camps and I started doing stage magic and uh, it just went on from there. That's awesome. So uh, you, it's Halloween season and you have your own haunted mystery show of magic that's going now through Saturday, October 12th. Uh, can you talk about like wh what it entails and where people can see it? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I have created a 45 minute close up magic show uh, that is co promptly named uh, the Haunted Mystery Show of Magic. And it is uh, I just did my, my first show on Saturday. And yeah. so it's from September 21st through uh, actually November 2nd. So we oh, extended the run. Yeah, yeah. It got a little bit longer. And um, uh, yeah, I'm doing it at a place here in L.A. called Beetle House L.A., which is a Tim Burton-themed Halloween uh, restaurant and has this really cool outdoor patio, and I, I got a spot out there, and I also have a spot on the inside on Fridays. So Fridays and Saturdays, I'll be doing a show, but Fridays is 21+. plus. So, yeah. It's a really awesome place if you haven't been, so, and then you get the magic show on top of that. Like, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's really cool, and they, and they have their main show where um tim burton characters will come out and they'll do like singing and dancing and and maybe some comedy uh but yeah i i have the the late night so like from 12 i do one show from from 12 to to 1 30 and uh uh that's that's on friday so it's very exciting sweet well i'm gonna have the link down below for anyone to buy a ticket so you can directly to that i do want to ask uh one floor house question because it is halloween season and one of my favorite episodes is when you guys go to like a haunted house and you're trying to act all cool like you're not scared but like the set decoration when that was so amazing like was that fun like seeing all that in person you know what's crazy well first of all i love haunted stuff i've always been a big fan of halloween the director of that episode and the director of a lot of the episodes his name is rich carell mm. and he owns the third largest horror movie prop collection in the world he has this huge warehouse and so for that episode he brought in all of his uh set pieces that that he could scrounge up and put to put in this haunted house so this so some of the stuff was from movies from professional haunted houses and it was super rad uh especially especially um when 
uh, Jody and Adam, they dressed up as the like haunted characters and they were freaking us out and everything. That, that was so cool. I, I, I love I love when we have themed episodes because they always go all out with that. And I, I remember, oh, hold on, small, small diversion here. I remember one time there was this, on, on the on the Halloween set, there was this giant uh, uh, costume, but it was like it was like a puppet. So it was like a seven foot tall puppet, and the person would put it on their head, and they were like a big skeleton. I did not know that this thing had a person in it, and it was like, hey, check out this thing, and I started smacking it, and then it starts moving at me. I fell on the floor, I was screaming, and they got it all on tape, which I thought was really funny. So I have that as a, as a blooper now. If you ever <laughs> go find it on the internet cool. somewhere, but yeah. <laughs> Well, everyone check out uh, your Haunted Mystery Show of Magic. Uh, also have your social media links down below. If you have anything else coming up you want to talk about before I let you go? Uh, I mean, if you guys are, if you guys want to see more magic, come see me at the Magic Castle. Uh, I'm there most Saturdays and Sundays uh, forming close-up magic at brunch. So if you ever get a chance, come by and see me. It is uh, such an amazing place. I've been there once. So, I, I mean, that's a big deal that you're – in that i mean i don't know if people don't know about that but like you have to be yeah. like a really big magician just to be in there <laughs> so that's yeah I'll, I'll yeah I'll, just for anyone who doesn't know really quick the, the magic castle is this private club for magicians in hollywood and it's a little bit like a comedy club where you go and you see comedy but instead you're going to see magic and it's this old victorian mansion you have to wear a suit and a tie it's a very strict uh, dress code and you go from room to room and you see a bunch of magic, you have a nice dinner or brunch. And uh, it's, it is, it really is like the best of the best are, you know, members of the magic castle. All right, Michael, keep up the amazing work, my friend. And we'll talk down the road. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.